to be alarmed about this is completely normal anyways let's let's get into this vlog so you already know from the little footages on the way in i am at universal studios hey man why are you talking over my thing okay we have also implemented attraction specific procedures we'll be back so yeah anyways i'm at universal studios like i was saying and um I've been respecting it a little more lately in Disney because, you know, now my little guy's older and I don't know, he doesn't really like the theme parks as much. It's okay. It happens. He'll, he'll get back in, uh, back into it when he gets older and he has kids and he understands. You know, that's, that's how it always works. And uh, also, I mean, you know, there's a lot more adult stuff I can do here, so... I don't know, I, I'm going to spend most of my time, like what I'm trying to say is I think this is my theme park for a little while, like the one I really want to keep going to, especially with the new Velociraptor roller coaster opening up, I'd like to get on that. Um, also, uh, I mean, I don't know, they just, they delivered harder for Christmas too this year than Disney did. I mean, no disrespect Disney, but. It was just uh, your basic holiday decorations, and it was cheap. Like, it was a cheap kind of Christmas. I mean, yeah, you had a few treats out there and stuff like that to intrigue us, but uh, you could have did a lot better. And Universal did. I mean, you'll see in my previous videos, Universal did a little bit better than Disney did on their Christmas deliverance. But um, also, Halloween was pretty good. I mean, snuck in a little Beetlejuice house for, you know, a little teaser for next year. What? Or this year? What? That was way to go, Universal. I know that was a little, some people were upset because they're, they're, the way they posted it was like, it's not fair. I, I missed it. I missed it. It's okay. Anyways, if I'm trying to say anything at all, is, I mean, Disney's always going to be there for me. I grew up there. I didn't grow up here, but I mean, I, 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 older than this park I've been coming here for a long time but it's just that if I go to Disney now it it's just the same I'm, I'm not even liking like the giant pieces of plexiglass on every ride and also I mean it's lacking some things that we miss and I think they could bring those back because the other theme parks have bought back these things that Disney still hasn't bought back so it's like well oh God, this is that's supposed to be a video about Disney Disney. I love Disney. And I'm still gonna go to the main events. I mean Ratatouille's opening soon. I'll be there. That's no problem. Uh Tron, I'll be there. That's no problem. Guardians of the Galaxy, all that stuff. Especially when Epcot is rebuilt. I mean, God. It's just I don't know. It makes you kind of feel like a waste of payment going in there. And like Epcot's got all these walls and it's demolished and there's different ways to go. And it's like I try to sound like a baby or anything. It's just 
I don't know, me, I probably would have closed down Epcot completely and said, no one can come in here until we're done with that. <laughs> uh, and there goes that guy again. I, I talk too much anyway. That, that, that's a good cutoff. All right. Okay, I'm from New York, okay? And Central Park is much bigger than this. So just so you know, in this area, if you ever know, this, this is called Central Park. Yes. The park is uh, not that busy. I don't think I'm gonna get on anything. I just came here with only like an hour and a half to stare at the park being open. Just one of those get away kind of things. So I'm just here at Universal chilling. There's a cat. There's a cat over here. Universal Studios. Look at this cat. All right. It's Mr. Creepy Face again. <laughs> Anyways, let's take this off. Because I am in a safe zone. So, yeah. Um, just uh, like I said, it's one of, another one of those solo nights. I'm going to do a lot of solo nights at Universal because my wife doesn't like Universal as much as she loves Disney World. My son doesn't like either of the theme parks. I'm going to cancel my SeaWorld annual pass. There's, I don't think there's a point for that one. Continue to go to Disney. Like I said, just only on like, I don't know, like the, the stuff that's worth going to for now on. Like I'm, I'm, I'm tired of riding like, I don't know, the same stuff at Epcot. I'm tired of the way Epcot looks and being depressed every time I go in there. Like, come on, put it together. I know, I know you don't want to rush art, believe me. It's just, I don't know. I, 
I prefer to see Epcot like it's getting good. It's looking better. I mean, those prisms, they look good. It, it feels good to see like 1982 back up there again because I was there opening day. Fun fact at Epcot opening day, and I remember seeing those prisms. I remember. They had Mickey Mouse on top of the uh, ball waving to the kids, uh, but you know you couldn't see him, but you saw the helicopters up there, if that makes any sense. But yeah, they actually had like a Mickey on top of that ball once, like a guy in a Mickey suit up there waving <laughs> to the helicopter, like, welcome to Disney World, or welcome to Epcot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, just doing one of these uh, night outs, and I actually didn't even spend any money. Like, go figure. Actually, I haven't eaten today, <laughs> so that's crazy. But the park closes in like 20 minutes. I'll get something on the way home or at home. And you don't even get Starbucks or anything? That's not like me. I'm here, I'm still having fun. I love it here. It gives you that movie feeling, you know? I love Hollywood Studios the most. That's um, ob the, obviously that's everyone's favorite park right now, but that's always been my favorite park. I was also there opening day as well, you know, toot my own horn. Also at Animal Kingdom opening day, haha, <laughs> toot my own horn. <laughs> but um, anyways, I really enjoy Hollywood Studios, but the fact that it is so crowded all the time just to get on Rise of the Resistance, every time to get to, to book like a queue line for that, or you know, whatever, at 7 in the morning, you book a um, uh, slot. I don't know, that, that that's just not like how we did it. Uh, to be honest with you, let me tell you, I like the Jimmy Fallon system, where you print out a ticket and you come back later, and you were like on a team, and you waited with that team, and inside of like a lounge, like what they, what they do is they give you a pass to come back to the lounge, just to hang in the lounge. And then that way you're not outside in the heat or anything waiting in a line. You're in a lounge with all kinds of seating and entertainment all over the walls and TVs and all that such and such. And then they call your group to go into the ride. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that just sounds a little more social distant in the first place, like the way it should be. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Hang around the park for 20 more minutes and get out of here. Show them some more B-roll. I mean, you know I can't help it. I have to get on E.T. I have to get on E.T. I mean, that's my pride. What a trouble we love it. The movies are gone, so that's a good sign. Oh, this is like the best ride in the world. It's like the only ride I ride over and over. I mean, that smell, oh, once you get in here and that smell happens, folks. Ah, oh, I love that smell. Yes. You're lucky you get to smell it every day. At this point, I don't smell it anymore. What? Yeah. That's uncalled for. Anyways, have a good one. Ooh, in the tunnel as usual. Scary. real quick oh yeah I lied I, I bought Starbucks as usual come on what do you take me for <laughs> anyways 
trying to yell over the music. I don't have my mic on, so I'm going to give you the loud Justin, as usual. I'm always loud. But yeah, man, I'm going to get out of here. Enjoy the Starbucks. I'm in the city area of where they filmed all that. And some other movies. So this is uh, me signing off, saying thank you for watching, subscribing, being a friend. All right. See you next time.